Okay, uh, it's finally here. It's game week. Um, very pleased with our football team's preparation, uh, not only during fall camp, but all, all off season long. Uh, I've done an excellent job, uh, you know, in the winter conditioning, the summer workouts, uh, just getting themselves ready. They've got a great attitude, uh, very good work ethic, uh, very committed football team. So, so at this point in time, um, couldn't be uh, asking for anything more than what they've given uh, as far as effort, intensity, energy, and so forth. Um, so, you know, we're, we're uh, very healthy at this point in time, as healthy as we could hope to be, um, you know, relative to uh, coming out of two a days, you know, just some bumps and bruises that apparently have all healed. So, so we uh, should be at full strength going into this game, barring anything uh, unforeseen this week, which, which is a big positive. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great opportunity for our players, our coaches, to go to the big house. It's one of the great venues in all of college football. Uh, I had the opportunity to go there in 02, I believe it was, was the last time we were there. Uh, hard fought game, defensive struggle. I ended up losing 10 7, but, but uh, we played very well. So, uh, you know, we got our hands full, obviously. You know, Michigan, uh, tradition, steeped in tradition, uh, great history, uh, great resources. I mean, you name it, they got it. And, uh, you know, it's just a, a place that, uh, or, a, or a football team that, that is going to be uh, very challenging for us. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're going to get on the plane Friday and uh, kick off 3.30 Eastern time on Saturday, and away we go. Well, we've learned we've got to play better. You know, in the opener we've had, uh, since I've been here, this is the fourth uh, opener, you know, very challenging, Arizona, UCLA, Oregon State, and now Michigan. So, so the, uh, you know, the uh, level of opponent has been very good. Uh, I don't think we handled the Rose Bowl situation very well in 06 as far as I think we let that uh, I don't want to say intimidate us, but get the best of us emotionally, you know, the Rose Bowl and all the tradition that it has there in that stadium. Um, last year, we were actually playing fairly well uh, early on, then, you know, lost a couple guys and, and uh, didn't react very well to that. That's what we didn't do last year is we didn't react to the adversity that, uh, that we went through. But, uh, you know, we, we've uh, got a fairly mature football team this year as far as experience-wise, you know, particularly on defense. Uh, a lot of returning starters, some guys that have played in some some pretty big football games, and so hopefully we'll handle it better this year than we have uh, last couple of years. It's not special. To be Every other game, it's a business trip. Although uh, you know, there's no doubt that that playing at a place like the Big House is certainly uh, you know would be a, a great experience for them, and, and uh, you know something that uh, you know I'm, none of them have ever experienced uh, a crowd of that magnitude. But uh, bottom line is, uh, you go on the road to try to win a football game, and that's that's where it ends. Well, any opener has its, uh, you know, is a very unknown commodity regardless of the circumstances, particularly so when you've got a new coach and new schemes and so forth being installed. But, but any opener in and of itself is a best guess scenario. Um, what you do in a situation like that, uh, first of all, it's, it's uh, positive for us in the, uh, from the aspect of both offensively and defensively, talking about Michigan now, a great deal of similarity to what we are offensively and defensively as far as schematics. And so that's that in and of itself, and that works both ways. It's good for Michigan as well because, you know, there's a lot of common ground there. So when you're working against your offense or your defense all during spring ball and two-a-days, it gives you good preparation for your upcoming opponent. But uh, what you got to do is go into this game with a very uh, broad-based game plan on both sides of the ball. Uh, two or three series into the game, you'll get a good idea of what what your opponent's trying to do and what the what their game game plan is, and then of course football's a game of adjustments, and you got to make your adjustments at that time, and uh, you know fine tune your you know what you're doing based on what you're seeing. Well, what we've done, um, obviously, Coach Rodriguez coming from West Virginia, we have the West Virginia season, uh, you know that we've studied uh, intently and uh, dissected uh, from every every uh, point of view. Um, Offensively, you know, for our defense, their offense. Uh, defensively, uh, as far as Michigan, go, Michigan goes, Stanford is where their coordinator comes from, and so we have the entire Stanford season for our offensive coaches, and they have been uh, studying the uh, obviously the schemes uh, from the Stanford films. Uh, Personnel-wise, you go to the Michigan tapes. You know, there's a lot of obviously a lot of returning starters. They have a, a lot of new faces on offense, but defensively. I think they have eight starters coming back. And so, so it's a combination of those three things. Our defense looks at West Virginia. Our offense looks at Stanford. And overall, we look at Michigan just for the, uh, the personnel that we're going to face.
Uh, speed, physicality, you know, they're very good defense, uh, particularly in the front four, three of the front four returning starters, I believe. Um, secondary, they got good sized corners, you know, six foot, you know, typical Big Ten corners, six foot, 190 pound corners, and uh, a great deal of uh, athleticism on that defense. They're going to be very good on defense. We don't uh, have any doubt about that. Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it's solidified now. It's a relative statement. We got two backs that are very close. Uh, as far as uh, you know, ability, so they're going to both play. So whether you're a one, take the first snap as a one, or you're in the uh, the second series of the game, you know, to us that's really irrelevant. And we have those situations both at running back, left guard. Caleb Slaughteroff is our starter, but Corey Sayuli will play. Um, perhaps the place that uh, we're not completely solidified is defensive tackle. Aaron Tonga, we're getting him back to practice today, and we'll see what kind of. Uh, progress he can make in the next two or three days to determine who the who the rotating guys are at that defensive tackle position. But everywhere else on the football team, we're pretty solidified. Yeah, we're certainly much much more in the national spotlight after the 04 season. I mean, that put us in, uh, uh, you, know, you know, before when I was when I was coaching as an assistant here, we'd go into living rooms in Southern California, wherever. A lot of times you had to explain where we're located, what conference we're in, and so forth. But after that Fiesta Bowl year, that's not the case. Everybody knows who University of Utah is and what, what, you know, what conference we play in, what we're all about. And so, uh, and plus what, that was 02, so uh, what, five bowl games later, five bowl wins later. And so I think that, that uh, certainly University of Utah is much more of a household name now than it was back in 02. Well, you, you know, not only for ourselves, but the conference, you know, the conference is always talking about gaining respect and, and uh, you know, what you do or how you do that is you, is you, is you beat high quality, you know, high caliber non-conference opponents. So there'd be a lot of, a, a lot of uh, positives coming out of a win. But, uh, you know, one game never, ever makes or breaks a season. You know, that's, that's just, you know, you can't, uh, I don't believe in that uh, theory that, uh, you know, any one game is going to completely, uh, you know, do it for you or, or uh, make the season a, a disaster. And so what we got to do is we got to go play well. That's our, that's our objective is go play our best football. And, uh, you know, like we've talked about, we haven't been able to do that the last couple of years in our opener. And so that's important for us to go out and play uh, good, good football. Well, I think that's very important. I mean, wins and losses are obviously important. They're, they're, they're important every week is, is, uh, is huge in college football. But, um, you know, I think, yeah, that, to answer your question, yeah, it's important for us to go out and execute and play our best football on Saturday.